What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the stocks that you need to watch for tomorrow. Now, if you watched my video from yesterday, you probably banked on a bunch of these, and I know I did. I banked over $2,500 today, just day trading, minimizing my risk on the downside. I definitely underestimated a few of these plays, but I am very happy with how I traded today. Fidelity finally was not down, and uh, I felt like a bunny rabbit. I mean, I was just hopping between plays. There were so many opportunities, so, if you guys want to be prepared for tomorrow, definitely watch to the end of this video because got a lot of good stuff coming for you. And you can see I got a little tissue box there. I have been sick, but there's just too many opportunities to let a little cold stop me from banking in the stock market or from helping you guys do the same. So that's why I'm still here today. Let's hop in my computer and talk about the stocks that you need to be watching tomorrow and what I think they're gonna do. All right guys, so I'm here at my computer. This is actually on my PC because Active Trader Pro for Fidelity will not even load on my Mac, so angle's gonna be worse. I apologize about that. Might not fit perfectly. I apologize about that. Bright light in my face, I'm gonna be sniffling. Apologize about that. But uh, yeah, let's just let's get into it. So CPSH, this is one that I told you guys to watch about because it spiked and held its gains really well in, uh, I mean, yesterday. I mean, it was just beautiful. Again, this is what we saw yesterday. Nice spike up holding the gains. And I mean, today held that support there and then just went on an absolute crazy run all the way up to $20. This is still on the watch list, man. This could go full KOSS. <laughs> Again, we know what happens with those stocks. I mean, they can go absolutely wild. So I would not be surprised to see this at $100. I mean, I don't personally expect it to be there, but just be watching it uh, because, you know, definitely has the potential to get up there. Um, let's see, what else did I talk about yesterday? TSMP, this one, oh my gosh, guys. This was this was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful today. Uh, held that uptrend perfectly. Broke through 50 cents and never came back below. Um, again, just lots of breaking intraday resistance. You can see probably here, uh, there's kind of like a descending line there, unable to break through this resistance. And then as soon as it does, goes on a nice tear. I always take gains into the spikes and then try to buy back in on the dips. It was holding the uptrend line. So same thing, you know, buy on the dips, take gains into the spikes. This one ran harder than I expected. Broke through 60 all the way up to... 65 almost pulled back another nice entry made a lower low but then ripped up through these highs and ripped all the way up through 70 all the way up to 72 5 so i mean insane run today absolutely love to see it again i made what is it 700 dollars on this stock today if you're holding long term this is great i hope you sold a little bit uh you know near the top there above 70 cents um because i think you know i mean i guess we'll see i guess we'll see we could see another green day this did close really strong, so I expected to see a gap up. I think my financial friend released a video about it, like right there, which is what caused this spike up. Uh, so we'll see how it reacts to this. I personally could definitely see a, uh, a gap up into a morning panic dip buying opportunity on TSMP. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. If not, I'll be, I'll be buying those whole cent breakouts, those intraday resistant breakouts, and uh, just keep banking on the stock and minimize my downside. <laughs> Pretty nice. Um, let's see. INKW, this one panic right into a rip, continued ripping all day long, and uh, I made a lot of money on this stock, just buying these breakouts here. I missed that that dip buy right there, um, but in general, this still is, is still on the watch list. I wish it held this gains a little better, because um, now it's down, obviously, almost 50% off those highs. But, uh, I mean, look at that candle, guys. Definitely a big candle, so I'm not sure we're going to see from this one tomorrow. It'd be nice to see a panic, but it might not be high enough to see a panic. I mean, maybe a panic's bounces off of five cents or something. Uh, so not a ton of range on this one, but we'll see. We'll see. Looking for a panic on this one for sure. That'd be nice. Um, but I mean, again, same thing. This is just another one that's now, we're able to play it as an OTC stock. Those whole cent breakouts, you know, break up 10 cents if it breaks back above there. Look at that little rip when you break above 10 cents. Absolutely beautiful. So just be watching for that. Um, what else did I talk about? ENZC, another one from my video yesterday. I mean, broke through 30 cents. I was looking to buy it here, uh, but just missed this breakout. But I did trade it some more. Nice dip buy here. Uh, just beautiful, man. Beautiful. It's up a lot now at these highs. Maybe you could see another nice, strong Green Day rip. If not, you know, looking to dip buy this. Riding momentum or dip buying? Oh, I'm dying, guys. Trying to hold it together for you. <clears throat> I'm sure I sound pretty awful, so I apologize. ILUS. That was the fifth one I talked about. In my uh, in my title at least, and I mean this one just ripped as well. Again, I can't trade this one, but 
If you have E-Trade or TD Ameritrade instead of Fidelity, definitely look into this one. Could see a nice panic dip buying uh, or just more breakouts if it breaks out past 10 cents. Could be a nice opportunity. OZSC, I had this one in the description, but on the title of the video yesterday, uh, just because yesterday was was kind of gross, you know, consolidation. Today we saw a big panic, not really much of a bounce. I think I dip out in here, took advantage of some of that. But then here's the thing. We saw this press release at 1.19 p.m. Eastern time. Again, I can go on the time here. You can see 1.19 caused this massive spike up. Uh, for whatever reason, I got notified. Fidelity gave me a notification that OZSC released news. And that sounded like some pretty good news. Uh, so I bought in. I wish I bought more. I didn't do the math well enough. I should have bought 100,000 shares, but I ended up buying uh, 50,000 shares right here at 1540. And I told everyone in the Discord that they just released news and then I bought. So uh, I think a lot of people made some decent money on this play. Uh, I ended up getting out all my, sh all my shares here and uh, missed this rip up. This was nice intraday resistance though. So I knew that once it, uh, once it ripped over that, where is that? Yeah, I knew that once it ripped over this mark, if it could do that, it was a good buy. Again, just, just learn the support and resistance levels intraday. I just missed this one because there were so many plays today that it, uh, it ripped up straight through there. I think I bought some of this momentum. Um, may have dip bought it off of this. It's just, it's in play, man. It's in play. So be watching OZSC. ALYI, this is another one that I've had on my watch list. Uh, but, you know, this one went on some nice little rips. Just keep watching it. Same thing. Breakouts, dip buys. Don't overthink it. Uh, let's see what else. AITX, this one kind of flatlined today again. Kind of fading down, so uh, kind of gross, you can see here. I want to see either a green day with a nice little run, breaking some resistance, or a big panic. That's what I'm looking for on AITX, but also love that one. Uh, yeah, and then MJNA. This one spiked up really hard into close. Uh, I guess they had some type of news. I'm not sure what the news is. Um, this could gap up easily. It just kind of went a little bit too hard for me to feel comfortable holding it. Um, so we'll see. Again, typically I'm right on, on the gap ups, but uh, on the off chance I'm off, I'm wrong, and I can't can't cut fast enough. I'm not willing to overnight this. So we'll see what it does tomorrow, but um, this could definitely, I mean, it's a nice little breakout past these three-month highs for sure. I think one-year chart is a little messier, um, but I mean, that's, that's nice resistance there that it broke out past. So we could see a nice little run on this, maybe hitting five, six cents, who knows. Uh, so we'll see. Could be some bag holders though in here who were selling into this spike, so just be aware of that. A panic on this one could be nice too. Could see some nice range on a panic, so gonna be looking for that. Um, let's see what else, if there's any stocks. Yeah, so I think, uh, let's see, ATOS. ATOS, this one after hours is up nice. So I mean, again, if it's moving in after hours, keep it on your watch list, just like CPSH. Could definitely keep moving tomorrow. Just have to see how it reacts in pre-market. I probably won't trade any NASDAQ tomorrow, guys. There's so many OTC opportunities that I'm, I'm just focusing on that. But uh, if you guys prefer NASDAQ stocks, man, definitely some opportunities out there as well. Uh, let's see. TNXP. Oh, my gosh. I'm dying. Yeah, this one was uh, was up a little bit. Still up in after hours. Moving some more. So be aware of that. I guess FORW. That's another one you guys need to watch. They have 500 million warrants for TSMP, which means they can buy 500 million shares of TSMP. Uh at a really, really low price. So if TSMP hits a dollar, like pretty much $500 million worth of profit for this company. So be aware of that. It kind of follows TSMP. If TSMP sees a big panic, this could see a big panic. Uh, you know, if TSMP keeps running, this is probably gonna keep running. So just be aware of that. If you wanna trade this one as well, definitely worth it. <laughs> Had a nice dip by here that I just missed. So uh, yeah, let's see if there's anything else. AVXL. It's another one that's spiking after hours hugely. So be aware of that. I mean, up almost 100% after hours after a nice chart today. So, I mean, uptrending nice, nice, nice. Definitely keep your eye on this one. That's all I gotta say. Uh, anything else? Yeah, there's, I mean, Sava, SAVA, this one was making some moves today. <laughs> I have no intention of trading it though. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it guys. These OTCs are absolutely killing it. Pretty much these are the main watches. I guess BMIX was doing something today. Uh, so I'm still watching that one. And yeah, that's it. I'm dying, so I'm gonna cut it here, but hopefully you found this video helpful. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. I got nothing interesting today. I'm just trying not to die on you guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, golly, I hope I can grow better together with you guys because if not, oof, it's gonna be rough. All right, see you guys.
preguntar Bebé, dime por qué te mientes ¿Por qué? No puedes esconder todo lo que tú pones 